Hello everybody and welcome back to Sims Jungle Adventure where Caitlin has just realised that she can't actually close her balcony doors and all the mosquitoes are coming in because she doesn't have a mosquito net and like the the bed is in front of the, the patio doors and they they're all jammed open and she, she can't she can't even shut them, look. What a bad design. But anyway, she was supposed to be sleeping. Something has caused her to wake up. I'm not sure what. Uh, I'm going to go and have a quick look at Zangiri. See how he's doing with this squirrel scratch fever. Apparently he will be okay for a couple of days. He'll just be very sleepy. So I'm not too worried. Not too worried about him. This is going to be a little bit grumpy for a while. He'll feel a bit, a bit, uh, a little bit under the weather. But he'll be okay for a couple of days, just until we get back from our holiday. So I think we're going to leave him. If he had something worse, it would, it wouldn't be, um, it would be no brainer. We would go home. But squirrel scratch is not too bad a, a one, and apparently animals can't die in this or anything like that. So we're just going to give him lots of cuddles and. Hopefully he should stay happy. I don't know what's wrong with Tristfall then. Wow, an Omiscan doll. This is definitely a family house. Dolls and stuff. Trist, what's wrong with you? Oh, he was hungry. So what's wrong with Zangiri then other than being very, very dizzy? Poor thing. I think they have like a drooling thing going on as well. Oh, what a shame. One thing that you guys can do just um, to protect against... Well, one thing you can do is take a shorter holiday. Just so you're not spending as much money in one go if you want to take the pets with you. Other thing I've realised that you can do is... Um, you know your medicine crafting station... You can basically make, if you're a high enough level, you can make most of the things that you need to cure most diseases. And if you know kind of what they are, you can just give them to the pet. See, I could just be like... Pet care. Um, I think if I have things in my inventory, actually. Like, say I've got a... a um, a bottle of this stuff, for example. Relaxation uh, serum. I could put that in the world and then I think I could possibly use it on them. Maybe I actually do need a vet table to give them the potions. I'm not 100% sure. So I place this in the world? On the table, for example. Can I? No, I can only put it in my inventory. So that wouldn't... I don't think that would work, actually. I don't think you can make medicine and just give it to them. Worth a try. Worth um, exploring the option. But I think the best thing you can do with taking animals with you is just only take them for two or three days just in case they do get sick like Zangiri. We may have to cut the holiday short just to get him um, sorted out. But I'm hoping that he'll be alright for a day or two. So let's have a little look at um, Caitlin's work at the moment. She's still... She still kind of haven't, hasn't been told she's going to work or anything yet. It's still 5.29 in the morning, so I want to see what happens at 8 o'clock when she's actually due to go. Um, so let's have a quick look at her needs. She's good for everything, pretty much. Could maybe do with a bite to eat again. So let's, um, let's have some... No, let's have a quick meal. Let's have some cereal or something. Just to have a little bit of breakfast, just to top that up. And then maybe we can just wash our hands afterwards. Wash the hands after breakfast and that will help a lot with the hygiene. And what I'm hoping is by the time she's done all that, it probably will be time. So let's have a look at what we can do. Can we open? Oh, I can open my vet clinic and make money from businesses while I'm here, apparently. Good to know. So that will just run in the background. Apparently that same will happen with a restaurant. With a um, a shop, though, apparently you have to be there. So different ways of working, different businesses. Need 5,000 followers. Caitlin is not in any clubs. So I wonder whether Zangiri will eventually... 
I mean, they said eventually that your pet will critically fail in some regard, but I it's very sketchy about the information on what will happen to them. I don't think anyone has had the heart to test it. Like I say, I, I think a couple of days will be fine. If I start to see any really bad moods or any sickness going on or anything like that, then it will then be time to go home. But at the moment... He's just doing his thing. He's just a bit dizzy and a little bit drooly. So I'm all right with that just for now. So hurry up and eat. I need to hurry up and it be 8 o'clock because I want it to be 8 o'clock so I can see. Oh, go and praise Sangiri. Oh, Sangiri, did you bring us a present? Oh, you're such a sweet cat. Such a sweet little cat. Where have you gone? Eat the cereal, wash the hands, and it's nearly 8 o'clock. I thought it would be by that time. And so then we'll be able to make the decision about what we're doing for work. Now, we're here for seven days. The first day has already pretty much been done, and we worked from home that day. Um, we probably didn't, we're, aren't going to get too much of a great report there, but we did manage to get focused. So we'll probably still actually even earn some money. Um, the next day, are we due to work... We're due to work on Friday, then we're not due to work on Saturday and Sunday, so that's day three and four, five and six, and seven. We don't quite have enough to cover that, so I'll see if I can work from home, maybe. If I do a bad job working from home, generally it just keeps my performance average. I've got a lot of performance I can go down by before I get demoted or fired, so... We can catch that back up when we come home. But it looks to me like it's gone past the 8 o'clock a.m. And we haven't had any phone calls about what we want to do about work. So it may be that while we're here, work is suspended anyway. Which is fine by me. Okay, in that case, we're going to go for a little travel. Uh, we're going to do... Um, well, I'm going to see if I can... Mm. So let's see if I can go to the ruins for a bit. But I love the fact that you can extend your vacation. So if you wanted, you could almost play a sim that like perpetually stayed here and explored the ruins all the time. That's pretty cool, I think. So I got as far, I think I got as far as the bridge, so I got over there. So once we get past the bridge, we can go to this temple, try and get up here. It's pretty cool. Right, let's start in the trailhead. And see how much further we can get. Oh, hang on, no, there were snakes and stuff, weren't there? Maybe we should go to the market and see if we can pick up some stuff. Because I've got plenty of money. It's just I couldn't find anything when I went there last time. So actually, yeah, let's... Um, sorry about this, guys. Another loading screen for you to watch. I don't want anybody with me at all. And I want to go to the market. I want to see if there's anything cool there. So the market is uh, right by the cantina, so I guess I just go to the cantina and then walk out to the market. Unless the market only comes up on certain days in the same way a festival does. Not sure. Like I said, I tried to go in there and have a test place and there was nothing to be... There was nothing for sale on any of the booths or anything. I was like, well, how am I supposed to get stuff to, to go adventuring with? Okay, well, she's there. Oh, but it's only food or drink. Oh. No, I need items. I need, like, snake spray and, and all that stuff. View inventory. Yeah, there's nothing in their craft table there. Nothing in that one. Nothing. Oh, right. Oh, right. People are coming up to their booths and putting stuff out. Ah, oh, cool. Maybe I need to just wait a bit longer. Let's have a look at this then. So, like... Spider repellent. That would be great. Liquid rush. 
That sounds good. Crude calculu. Umbic vantu with alloy. Rash namic. Snuggly toy I probably don't need. Anything anything that would help me with Ready to eat grilled cheese. That sounds good. What's this? A plasma bat bait. Yeah, let's get one of those. I've got loads of money, so why not? I've already got my machete. Grilled cheese, loads of these dolls. I don't know. Well, I'll buy one just in case. Anything I don't need, I just won't buy a second one of it. So what is this? Fire foam. That sounds great. Insulation powder. Fire quencher. That sounds amazing. What's that? A diversion from a diversion from bees. That sounds good. So we stock up on all this stuff. Then apparently we can uh, avoid quite a lot of things. So I've bought one of like basically everything. Do I need? I do I need more spider repellent? I think I might do. Like, I wish that someone else was selling a second machete, though. Fire quencher, insulation powder. So having these things in my inventory, it kind of helps. Yeah, fire phone. Kind of helps if I'm in a sticky situation when I go into the ruins. I'm uh, definitely going to need more than one spider repellent, aren't I? I should buy, like, lots of spider repellent. These rooms are going to be full of spiders, right? Okay, well, all this stuff is quite cheap, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to find enough stuff in the ruins. Like, I had a fossil, didn't I, that I... Uh, did I ever open it up? An uncommon prehistoric bird. I think that's what it ended up being. And a fossilised alien skull. Which is worth 250. Well, that's a useful thing to find in the ruins. So we're going to travel. Um, going to go on our own and we're going to see if we can find more stuff. Salvadorian culture skill acquired. Caitlin has begun to understand the Salvadorian culture. Se sorry, Salvadoradian culture. I keep saying it wrong. Uh, she'll be able to ask about local sites and find out more about the local heritage. The local foods will be a strong culinary adventure. Oh, I should try and get food from the food stall then if that's something that um, is going to kind of help with our cultural education on our holiday. I think it's important. I think that understanding other cultures is the first step towards accepting them and uh, being more peaceful with people and there being less hate in the world. And I'll get off my soapbox now. What? Well, how is she tired already? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's go through anyway. She only just got up like three hours ago. How is she tired? Hiring trip to the market, clearly. I didn't see any, like, sleeping bags or anything like that, unfortunately. So, at the moment, um, I just kind of I couldn't really find much around the place. I'm just going to be careful of snakes and stuff. So, we'll kind of do a go here and hope that I don't get bitten by a snake. This is day two. Day one, we managed to get across the bridge and uh, then we kind of had to go home because I saw a snake and I was like, no, run away. I'm going to be a bit braver today. See if I can get her to the ruins. I really should keep an eye on her though in case a snake bites her bum. That is the last thing I want. Okay, so she's walking across the terrible, terrible bridge. I'm waiting for one day that to be an event and the bridge to break. It just doesn't look like... It looks like the sort of bridge, you know, an Indiana Jones bridge. Someone will come and try and cut the bridge away or something like that. 
You know the type of scene. Just looking to see if I can see any little secrets or anything around the place that might be good. Looks like I can't travel there anyway. So it seems quite on rails to start with here. It doesn't seem like there's much sort of in the way of exploration. Looking to see if there's any like plants and stuff I can find around the place. It looks like I'm going to need my machete again. Luckily, although Caitlin got very angry about losing her bag that doesn't seem to exist, uh, that she dropped in the quicksand, I didn't try and use my machete. And because I didn't try to use my machete, I should still have it, I hope. Let's see, is my machete here? Yes, we still have the machete, so let's go and clear the path with a machete. Seems to work a lot better. So I don't know what's going on here, because I haven't really found much stuff that I can pick, or much stuff that I can excavate yet, so I don't know if I need to kind of go further in or something. Oh, this will probably be to another area now, won't it? So this will be like the bridge area. And then you go through this area to the next, like, question mark. Come on, Caitlin, you can do this thing. Colleen seems very happy. I wonder if that has anything to do with the fact that there's five food bowls at home. I think it might do. Caitlin was forging through some thick vines a little too enthusiastically when her machete flew out of her hands and was lost forever in the thick jungle. Now I've got to try and find another machete. <sighs> okay. Caitlin pulls back a curtain of vines and discovers a strange clearing in the jungle. There's a pedestal with a relic on top surrounded by a circle of totems. The totems' faces are fixed in a permanent snarl that strikes fear in Caitlin's heart. Should she turn back or check out the totems? Higher handiness skill leads to better results. I've got loads of fire foam though. I can just disarm them. What is my handiness skill? I'll just disarm them. These totems will definitely attack Caitlyn if she gets too close. She takes a gamble and tries covering the totems with fire foam. It works and totally prevents the trap from triggering. She gets to walk away with a cool relic as a prize. <laughs> yes. So where are we now? We're in a completely different area. Let's have a look around. Where are we? Oh no, oh no. Oh, we had um, um, B. She quickly considers her options and settles on using the Gosmania Pollenis flower. It was advertised as a way to keep bees diverted. Time to see if it works. Guessing it did. Preparation perfection from distracting bees with the uh, Guzmania Pelennis flower. Purchase your gear at the marketplace before setting foot in the jungle. Help stave off a minor disaster. Money well spent. <laughs> this is why coming on holiday with lots of money is really useful as well. I've got an undiscovered relic. Which I can probably use my archaeology table stuff to to do. Ooh, there's a tree here. Wild tree of emotions. Okay. This tree swells with mysterious energy. The fruit from this tree is purported to trigger a range of emotional responses from the sims who eat them. Harvest. Let's see what we can get from that. We've got the gardening skill now. So we've got two 
flutter berries which will set your heart to flutter and make you flirty uh, merry berries which will make you happy and uh, guts berries which will make you have oh yeah be more brave okay seri berries um be focused so focusing berries vim berries Full of vim and vigor, get you energized. Muse berries uh, will give you ideas, and razzle berries will make you playful. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna stand over here just because it looks like somewhere that I really shouldn't stand, and it, it's on a massive overhang. Oh, it's a point of like inspiration because you get to look out over the the canyon below. Look at that. Wow. I'm on the edge of the world. Okay. We could probably need to go back and go to bed, honestly. Sucks, but we found the tree of emotions. Oh, look, there's some archaeology stuff we can dig up, though. I want to excavate that before we go. It, it tires her out, I think, going through all of these different um, things and unfortunately now she's gonna have to clear them with her hands or try and get hold of a new machete somewhere there's all sorts of different ways she can go from here wow this path is sealed shut and cannot be opened on this trip perhaps next vacation it will open wow there's things that you can come back for yeah, it might be actually useful to go back and, and earn money for a couple of days because the vet clinic makes a couple of grand a day and so does Caitlin. So, like, we can go on holiday after holiday if we need to. Right, so can we go home now? I don't know what we have to do to go home once we've excavated. So let's see how this is going. She's very tired. Energy is at critical. She'll probably, like... end up in the ruins and she'll end up going to sleep in the ruins and then she'll like wake up and a skeleton will have kidnapped her i want to find skeletons but yeah this is the nice thing about sending caitlin is she is the, the only sim i know rich enough to to do this sort of holidaying well that i'm playing anyway And it's nice for her to take her um take her cats with her as well, you know? Oh come on, hurry up and, and finish excavating that, please. How long is it gonna take? Did you even find anything? Ooh, an unauthenticated vase. Okay, let's go home. I don't know um, how far you have to walk to get home now. I hope you don't pass out. It does seem like quite a stroll. But I think that you, as you go through different trips here, um, it'll probably keep each one of your... each one of these um, things open. I'm hoping anyway, like when we go, when we come back, all the stuff will still be open. We can try and stay in a different place next time as well. It should be quite cool. Right, is she having to walk, like, all the way back? Yes. She is all the way back across the bridge. All the way back to the place. So I've got to bear that in mind. Because her energy is terrible. I wonder. I do, 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 do wonder. That was $67 worth of... of vases. Haven't found any uh, plasma bats yet, so the grilled cheese would be good for us hungry. Insulation powder, fire quencher, liquid rush. Why don't we try drinking that actually, rather than going home? I want to see what liquid rush does. Is it a bit like coffee? Oh, okay. So we need to take plenty of those next time. She gets tired really easily in here, seemingly. We'll go back and have a nap anyway. Because it's like 8pm at night, so 
I think going back to the lodgings is going to be needed. But it's good to know that if I'm really out of energy, that liquid rush will just pick me up a bit. Or if Caitlin is out of energy, sorry. I keep referring to Caitlin as me, but it's because she's my, my avatar. She's my representation in this world. Therefore, she is me. Why are you randomly flirty? Oh, look, there's a way through here as well. I bet that one doesn't open either. The ones with the doors on don't seem to open. Interesting. There's so much to do in The Sims now. So much to do. I don't even have all the expansions either. And you want to make all different families as well, because you can have ones with aliens and vampires, and you can do different things with different ones, and you can't do everything with everyone, and there's not enough time in the day. I like it. I think it's really good. Okay, so it's time for us to have a little shower. Check on Zhang. Who is just going to have a nap. Okay, my love. You have a little nap. Oh, he's, sleep he's sleeping just now. Okay, that's why he's greyed out. All the rest are having a, a nap. Or standing up on the table fighting each other. It looked like they were all just bullying Ixius then. No, I don't need to go to the nightclub. Stop fighting, guys. Nope, I'm not going out with you guys. I'm on holiday. Leave me alone. Oh, it looks like Caitlin went straight to sleep. Okay, that's fine. So in the morning, we're going to do a little bit of... Um, we might go back to the market again. I don't even know who Naoki is. No, he can just fade away. I don't care. I don't know who he is. His other friends and family need to sort that out. Why do I need 4,000 notifications about it as well? I'm on holiday, leave me alone. The only ghosts that Caitlin cares about are cat ghosts. And we are, when we get back onto, um, when we've kind of finished exploring Jungle Adventures and we get back onto Sim Cats and Dogs, like proper, back home. Because this is still Sim Cats and Dogs. I mean, we've still got all the cats with us. But when we get home, I'm going to go and take a look at that that island and the lighthouse and stuff because I think there's a like a pet cemetery around there and I know that one of Caitlin's things she needs to do is to check out pet cemeteries and stuff so um she seems to be unhappy because of her hygiene and also her hunger all right she's making a bit to eat that's fine I'm happy with that get yourself a bite to eat and then we'll go we'll stock up at the market again I mean I'm really lucky I found that bee stuff Although it seems a bit boring that she's not getting like caught by all the traps in a way because if she was getting caught by them. <laughs> Tilly, you distracted her and you nearly got sauce on your face. Uh, but, but yeah, if she... What was I saying? You're distracted by Tilly. No, I've lost it. Oh yeah, we were going to go to the market and get as much stuff as possible because the less times we have to go to the market the more time we get spent in the ruins so the more we money we spend there the better oops i left the vet clinic open like forever i'm gonna close that la 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 have no employees left malcolm needs a promotion when we get back hopefully he'll be all right for a little while i've put a little bit of um luckily we did sort Joelle out before we came before we came on holiday so Malcolm might need a little bit of a promotion or something but hopefully he won't leave before we get back so we made a net profit of 3,700 which means if we need any extra funds while we're away we can get them so we're basically earning money while we while we're on vacation it's great uh, one of these needs a bit of a clean And then we need to refill all the pet bowls. How are we doing for everything except um, hygiene? We're fine. Should continue eating though. So fill the cat bowls. Continue to eat. 
Go take a shower. I mean, I could put food in my inventory to eat. Zack seems absolutely fine, even with the squirrel scratch. He seems like, yeah, he's a little bit dazed and confused and stuff, and we will sort him out as soon as we go home, but he doesn't seem to be... Apart from the green drool hanging out his mouth. He seems all right. Yeah, okay, you can have a shower. Have a shower. We'll just quickly flip through that, because who needs to see someone showering in slow motion? No one needs to see that. Her energy's going down super fast, isn't it? Finish eating the spaghetti. Maybe have a little nap on the sofa. Just to top your energy up. And then we'll... We'll pop out. But yeah, the energy doesn't seem to be lasting very long for some reason. But that liquid energy seems to help a lot, so we'll see. In fact, I wonder if we've got many satisfaction points at the moment. We don't have a ton. 2,000. What can we do for 2,000? See, the things like steel bladder is 2,000. Item has already been claimed. Okay. Sufficient points, antiseptic, hygiene decay, carefree. That'll be an energy one, but it'll be really hardly hungry is 4,000. Um, never weary is 10,000. Never need sleep. Wow. Never need to eat. Never need to shower. Never need to socialize. Wow, you could have a symptom that. Really didn't need to do an awful lot, but we've, we've made sure the cats have all got nice full bowls before we go. A nice little cat present there from someone. We have like 12 cat presents to open. Oops. Not going to be hurting for money, are we? And I can use a lot of these fossils and things to like decorate. We could decorate the vet office with them, stuff like that. I still haven't put these terrariums down. These, these are frogs. So let's have a look how this is doing for our energy not great actually that was a kind of rubbish nap right i'm gonna go upstairs and have a sleep a proper sleep so that the energy is right up to the top and then we're going to go back to the the uh the temple i think it's like temple ruins that we go to But I can't do that with like 60%. Yeah, it's completely frozen. Um, my working time though, it, 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 my performance has stayed the same and everything. So it's pretty good that it's just taking you away from the world there. Are, are you full of energy? No, you're not full of energy. Why are you not sleeping properly? Sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. She keeps getting up. Why does she keep getting up before she's ready for a nap? Try napping. Is it like too hot to sleep or something? She feels energized. Do you know what? Fine. I'll go to the market and I'll see if I can just get some of those energy potions. Revitalized by a nap. Delicious dish from eating food. It's really decent other than her like energy and stuff. She's having a nice chat to herself too. Let's go traveling. The cats are all either asleep or doing okay, but they're not doing, you know, fantastically well, but I think they're enjoying a little bit of a change of scenery.
My goodness me, when it said put down, I thought it meant something else. Let's travel on our own. I'm not taking the cats with us to the dangerous temple. That just is a recipe for disaster. I think when um, Zangiri came with us to the trailhead, that's why he ended up getting sick, which wasn't so good. So again, we'll just travel down to the cantina and then as people come and start putting their wares out on the stall, we'll, we'll snap them all up. We've got quite a few days here, so we may as well have a good stock of like spider repellent and things like that. Having those items helps us uh, progress. Now, I need to work out um, if I can buy another machete somewhere or or get hold of one somewhere. I don't know. A waterfall in a bottle. Right, so that is a a cleaning thing. It's just for my for my cleaning. Um, we've got. The dolls still, we've got the repellents, we've still got the bat traps, we've got nothing to help with bees unfortunately. So if we get any more bees today then that's, that's us uh, scuppered. And there's no more of that energy in a bottle. So I, can't, I have one left I think, but a shower in a bottle is useful. I wonder when they start selling. Is it at nine o'clock, maybe? Ah, look, there's someone else there as well. Yodi Bibna. Yodi Bibna. Wanna sheesh. Mod skills. I'm gonna buy another bat <laughs> trap or two. We'll have plenty of spider repellent. I did buy one of the dolls. Oh, look, he's got more liquid energy. Yeah, we need some of that. Okay, hurry up and go buy all your stuff, Caitlin. Ding, 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 ding. Can never have too much spider repellent. Liquid rush, sh uh, like a shower in a bottle. Okay, I think that's enough, so we are gonna... Tilly, why did you come with me? No, go home. I'm gonna go back to my lodging and see if t if Tilly will go with me. And sh she's crying for a litter tree, but there's a litter tree back in the lodgings that she can go to if she wants. <sighs> I'm not telling these cats to come with me. They just decide that they want to show up. Just like la la la. Just decided that I wanted to pop to the bar for a second because I am Tilly and that's what I do. So this will just make sure she goes home. And honestly, I think that might need to be the end of the episode. So we've prepared for another trip to the ruins and we've headed back. I wonder if we should go there at night. I wonder if there's going to be different stuff if we go at night. I couldn't find another uh, machete though. So we're going to have to start clearing stuff with our hands, which is going to be a pain in the bum. Okay, guys, now you're back at home. Then you can use all the litter trays and everything. But you're not coming with me, okay? Because we're going to the ruins. Alright, so let's have a look at her needs and everything. Her energy is still quite low. Uh, why won't she sleep a full night on those beds? I'll try this bed. I'm going to try sleeping on this bed and see if that makes it any better. If she stays in there any longer. And then we'll go for like a kind of evening time trip to the ruins, I guess. I don't think that there's any particular time that you, you have to go there or anything, so... A little bit more energy would be really useful. No. Stop disturbing her sleep. Okay, so with that, I think I'm going to um, end the episode for today. So I hope you enjoyed our second little go into the ruins. Unfortunately, we have lost our machete now. I don't know if we get one machete per trip or, or what, whether shorter trips are better to unlock everything. 
uh, or whether you never get another machete again. I'm going to have to have a little look for it and see if um, I can buy a couple before I come out next time. But anyway, that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do leave me a like below. And if you'd like to see more Sims Jungle Adventure, then please do subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.